Hey my lovelies, so it's that time again, it is hacks video time and I really get excited about doing these videos because you'll probably have guessed by now I spend a lot of time trying out and reading about all the different hacks that there are to kind of make our routine easier in life and I just really enjoy having these little tips and tricks in my life to make everything easier so today's video is going to be 10 beauty hacks that everybody absolutely needs to have and know in their life. It's a mixture between between some of the things that I use every day and a few things that when I was researching this video I found and I tried and I really really love like total game changer so I'm very excited for this one. You guys seem to really like my hacks videos so hit the thumbs up right now if you guys enjoy it because then it tells me that you're enjoying it just as much as I enjoy making them and of course you know the drill if you guys are new here or you've been here before and you just forgot to subscribe I'm going to leave a link below to my channel Talk Becky Talk where every week I upload hacks chats, beauty and lifestyle, so make sure you hit the button just below this video so you can subscribe to the Talk Becky Talk family. Okay, so let's get to the hacks. Number one is one of my favorites. It is a DIY nail polish remover pot. These pots are so useful. They're a bit of a game changer if you've never used them before. You basically just pop your finger in and it removes the nail polish, so it's super easy to do, but they can be quite expensive to buy. So here is how you can make one at home and it works just as well. So you need to get an empty jar and one that has a lid on it, and then you also need to get a kitchen sponge. Now, measure the sponge and you want to cut it so that you know it's going to fit inside of the pot and then wrap the sponge inside the pot and then you can use the excess sponge just to pop in the middle to make sure that it's really nice cozy fit when your nails go in that it's going to be snug and then just pour in some nail polish remover you probably want to use about a third of a bottle this is so good this is probably one of my best DIY beauty tools that I have at home and then each time you use it, I like to just shake it a little bit or turn it upside down just to make sure all the nail polish remover has soaked through the sponge. Hack number two is for those of you that love the false lash effect. I am talking about big, chunky, long lashes. This is a hack that is gonna lengthen and thicken your lashes without you having to use false lashes. So the best way to do this is to get your favorite mascara, put on one layer, and then get some baby powder or some loose powder. And you want to just put this over the top and it's sticks to the mascara. This is a little bit messy to do, but it is so worth it. So make sure you're not wearing your going out outfit as you put this on. And then once the powder is on, then you want to go in with another layer of mascara. You can do this with a normal mascara wand, or you can use an eyebrow wand and put the extra mascara on. You can do this as many times as you want. I like to do it about three times, which gives me such a dramatic, spidery, long look. You can see the difference between my two eyes, like before with normal mascara and after. There are lots of fiber mascaras out there that kind of try and do the same thing and they're really expensive so this is a hack that's going to get the same effect for a lot less. Hack number three is going to help you hold on to your favorite mascara when it gets clumpy and old so all you need is a little bit of saline solution so contact lens solution this is really good just to have anyway in your house even if you don't wear contact lenses you can pick it up for about a pound and then you want to put a couple of drops into the mascara tube and then just wiggle the wand around don't pump it in and out because putting air into a mascara is going to make it clumpier and dry it out so just stir it around and it is so amazing at how this turns the mascara back into a really kind of liquid formula I don't know if this is going to show up on camera but you can see as I put it back onto my eyes it makes such a difference this gives me at least another month's use out of my mascara and I have a hack for old nail polish too so when you have your favorite color that dries up you want to get a little bit of nail polish remover now be very very careful when you do this you only want a few drops of that nail polish remover pour it into the pot shake it up if you have a little metal ball then it's really good if your nail polish doesn't already have one in to put one in so when you shake it it really mixes it well and it brings your nail polish back to life the next hack is for when you're painting your nails and you smudge it over your finger I have this happen to me all the time and I go through that dilemma of should I take it all off again and remove all the polish and start again and I put my base coat on no no I have a hack so you need to get a really thin brush and then pop this into your nail polish remover and then just use this to tidy up around the edge of your cuticle or the nail or wherever you've gone 
over. It's a really nice way just to tidy up your nail polish so you've got a really sharp edge anyway. Hack number six is to give you bigger, brighter eyes. I love this makeup look and I'm actually wearing it today in this video. So you want to get a white or a light eyeliner and then line your waterline where you would usually put a darker eyeliner, swap it with a really light one and it's amazing at how this just makes your eyes pop, it brings out the colour, it makes your eyes look much bigger. And talking about eyeliners, this is a really good hack for those eyeliners that you have that just dry out, you know when you try them on your finger and they kind of look okay but you then try and put them on your eye and you're like pushing it so hard because it just won't seem to transfer. Get a lighter and you want to just run the tip of the eyeliner through the flame for literally a split second and it warms it up, blow on it just to cool it down and already from swatching it you can see the difference in pigmentation. This is so, so good to like bring back to life those old eyeliners and the difference of this going on means gone are the days of like really almost hurting yourself trying to get the eyeliner on. Hack number eight is a bit of a deep DIY skincare. You guys know that I am obsessed with tea. My family know how obsessed I am. I probably drink like 10, 20 cups a day and I love green tea. But green tea is not just good like the taste. It's also really, really good for your skin. So I love to make a DIY toner with green tea. When you put the tea bag in the water, let the water cool down, you can dispense this into a little spray bottle. Toners and face mist and face sprays can be so expensive and this is a really nice way to just make your own face spray and toner at home keep it in your bathroom I would recommend changing this every couple of weeks and you can even use the green tea bags as kind of an eye mask to de-puff your eyes this is another DIY beauty treatment I love number nine is all about the brows I am not very good with my eyebrows I talk a lot about this they just fly 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 away like in all different directions and I have no control over them and I found this hack which I really really love using. A really good way to keep those brows under control is to just spray a little eyebrow brush with some hairspray. I have been using this every single day since I discovered this hack and it's amazing because it actually works better for me than eyebrow gel. I don't know why but it just holds it more in place. I put this hack in one of my other videos for your hair to tame like fly away hairs but it's really good for your eyebrows as well. And finally, a hack for cleaning your makeup brushes. It's such a bugbear of mine that makeup brush cleaners are so expensive. I spend a fortune. So I found a DIY solution that is just as good. I actually think it's better than some of the ones that I've bought. I know a lot of people use baby shampoo as a dupe, but I found a formula that's even better that puts the moisture back into the brushes rather than just stripping it all away. So you want to use a third part water with a third part coconut oil, which I love using this anyway on my skin and this is really going to help to put that softness back into the brushes so they feel nice and then a third part baby shampoo which is super gentle and it's going to really cleanse those brushes and get rid of any dirt and a kind of bonus hack here whilst cleaning your brushes because I know you guys are going to be like what the hell is that ball what is she doing brush pad cleaners again can be really expensive so I've heard a lot of people talking about swapping it for an oven mitt but I find an even better cleaner is one of these tumble dryer balls because it still has the ridges on it's that plastic it's going to get rid of all the dirt and they're really small so you can just pop them in your makeup bag if you're traveling rather than taking like a big oven mitt away with you and that's the end of my hacks don't forget thumbs up if you enjoyed this video so I know you guys loved watching it and comment below if you've heard of any of those hacks before and you've tried them and love them I would love to know which are your favorite ones and I'll see you guys in my next video bye